It's time we head home. You aren't forgetting anything, are you, my lord? Arador, I told you. I'm not a child anymore. I'm sorry, my lord. Whenever I see your face, I can't help but think of the lad I once knew. The lad I once knew. Can you not lower your voice? You'll disturb the whole city at this rate. House Wolfort certainly is... lively. Indeed. I've never seen such a big, happy family. I'm glad they allowed you to travel with us. As am I. I intend to revolutionize the world with my research. So that guy's the guy that is defecting. Very well and good. But we also have a wedding to prepare for. She's my wife's, uh, my future wife's attendant. So she basically came from the north following with her. And she's there to kind of like take care of her. And, and she's like her. Yeah, she's her attendant. Hey, Tactical, what's up? Yes. Let us make it a grand wedding. Duet, prepare an extravagant gift worthy of my best friend. So that's the that's the king's, uh, our king's uh, uh, youngest son and our best friend, like he said. And Duet, which is going to talk in a second, is like her bodyguard. Yes, your highness. It seems I'm just in time. I'm, I'm liking it a lot. I am. The only thing that worries me is I'm, I'm worried the story's not going to pay off. But so far, like the, the, the setup is really good. I like the, the graphics. The combat system is super, super fun. It's, it's, it's more fun, I feel, than... Um, at, at least like navigating the field and doing stuff is more fun than it is in like FF Tactics and um, Tactic Ogre. But there's a part of the combat system that I miss is being able to change classes, like kind of build your character the way you want to. You can't do that in this game. There's no, like each character has a set class that you cannot change. You can upgrade it, but you cannot change it. So if your main character is like a sword dude, then he's a sword dude the entire time. So that bit, I don't like as much, but like everything else is super, super nice. Um, the voice acting is not super equal. Like there, there are people that are really, really good in English and some people are kind of like just meh. Um, and the music is also kind of unequal. There are parts of it that are super good. Reminds me of like the older titles and some other music uh, like soundtrack stuff is really kind of weird. Like it doesn't really fit with the game. Like there was a scene where like it was like a, a kind of a, a tense situation or at the very least like it's the first time meeting some important characters and the music that was playing in the background in that scene was like the Wii Shop music, basically. Which is why like, I was like, eh, it's not great, but yeah. Sounds like real life. <laughs> Can only upgrade character. True to Rune, yes. So yes, it is a tactical RPG, yes. It plays like, it plays and feels like a FF tactic successor-ish. Minus the fact that you, you know, the, the, the whole um, changing your classes willy nilly. Also, there, so far, there doesn't seem to be a way for me to recruit mercenaries. You know, like in tactics and stuff and, and those games, you can go into like, if, you, if, you, if some unit die in battle, you can go and, uh, and re replace them with like mercenaries and stuff. And you can like hire more people, basically. Uh, in this game, I'm not even sure people can actually die unless it's story related. I think like if one of your units just dies, it does. It's not gone for good. I think it never happened to me yet, but I'm I'm assuming it doesn't like. It's not permanent because there's no way to replace them. <laughs> there's no like NPC you can talk to and be like, oh, let me hire this dude. Like there's no there's nothing like that. I came to thank you and see you off on behalf of the Holy One. One thing that I really like about this game, though, like like just for like world building is the ability to like whenever a character is talking if it's an if it's a character that's important it's going to have like a profile that you can actually look at and it has like an, an art and then like a small description of who that person is
so it's it's very neat so like if, if somebody's talking to you like who's that again and like you can just like go and check out the profile we are the ones who should thank you glenbrook and house wolfort shall not forget your kindness like the main character when i said like the voice acting the, the main character's voice acting i find super meh but frederica's voice acting like his future wife is super awesome like i really really like her voice acting it's probably she's my favorite character so far possible it's possible tactical you're, you're right it could be it could be that like death is permanent and you can just like do you can just like get more people true i'm happy to have seen Hyzant with my own eyes till we meet again this like uh, in, in this game compared to maybe like a fire i don't know about every fire emblem i only played like three houses but like in this game there's a lot of decision making in a lot like conversation choices and stuff and like those impact the way your character is built like his personality and then uh you can you can then in the future recruit people to your side or they might defect from you if they if they if it clashes too much with their their own personality and stuff like that and there's no way to see your like it's not like a like a clear stat spreadsheet that you have like three points in in like honor and like two points in something else it's it's kind of hidden so you don't see it so you just pick whatever answer you want you don't see what it does to your character really and you just feel the impact of your decisions in the story and like a lot of times when you uh like like for example visiting this location uh in chapter three versus the other location that we could have visited um half my team wanted to go here the other the other team didn't want to the other half didn't want to and i had to convince them via dialogue choices to join to join me basically and the thing is like it's not guaranteed like you you take a shot at, at, at like bringing them to your side and then whenever the final vote comes in to choose if they're following me or not it's it, it's when you see if you manage to convince them to your side or not so it's kind of interesting like so far it didn't change much of anything but i think it's just because i'm super early game like one guy in my entire team didn't want to come here and he still came but i'm thinking it's probably because it's super super early game uh and it was like the first time we had the one of those choices i'm expecting it to be a lot different the further we go like probably people that like if people really really don't want to do something and i kind of force them to do it they might just leave that's what i'm assuming I thought you're good. Uh, yes, I am good actually. <laughs> I'm not being a jerk. I'm actually playing like something, some, somebody really nice. You probably should tactical. If you like these types of games, you, you totally should pick it up for sure. Prince Roland, Lord Serenor. The future of Norzelia is in the hands of the young those like ourselves i much look forward to our next meeting yes yeah let's just leave this place man i don't like this place at all we have heard much about how all in high Zant are blessed by the goddess's teachings hey it's Erijima. good morning and yet I am great. Almost nothing of the Roselle. Thank you, Pyro. I'm really great today. I'm excited. The, the full game is out now. What sort of lives do they live here? In fact, I think we have enough. Did mother lead? We do. Let's start a stream of battle while we're here. Let's do that. Is something the matter, Frederica? If you missed the start of this, basically her mother was a slave. Because I, I told you before, like, the, they're, they're people with pink hair are called the Roselle or the Rosellian people. And they're, they're, um, they're slaves in this nation. She's allowed to walk around and, and do stuff, but she's not, not allowed to talk because she's with me. Otherwise, like, she would be treated as a slave. 
Uh, her mother used to be a slave and she fled to the Northern Kingdom. And then uh, she ended up kind of like sleeping with the Archduke and they had a baby, which is her. And so her motivation to come and visit the desert people was to kind of try and figure out like how, like what her mother endured basically when she was here. The thing is, uh, we couldn't even come anywhere close to where the Rosellians were. We, we didn't see anybody. Um, it, it was very much like, you're allowed to walk on this specific street and go into that specific building and that's about it. Like, and, and, and like, I was like, everybody was like, watching me very very closely the entire time forgive me i was merely lost in thought oh you got you got grand turismo 7 now nice i've never been big in those games but i remember having having a lot of friends that were into them when i was in high school thoughts of the roselle i presume yes I wondered what effect it might have on your relations with Hyzant, now that we are to wed. Right now, our three nations work together, but none can say what the future holds. Whatever may occur, know that you will not have to bear it alone. It will be a burden for all of House Wolfort to bear, together. Thank you, Saranoa. A land of sand and sun. There we go. I need to work one more hour and then I can start the switch. Oh, nice, nice. Because you bought Triangle Strategy. Nice. Very cool. Uh, Save my game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Off we go. His diplomatic visit as Lord of the House complete, Serenoa returns to the Wolfort Domain. Safely within Glenbrook, Roland and Huet retire to Whiteholm in the Crown City. Oh, so he left us, okay. Alas, there is no time for rest in House Wolfort, as Serenoa soon finds himself swept up in preparations for his wedding to Frederica. Dragan, meanwhile, presides over the blasting of a new tunnel at the Grand Norzellian Mines. Oh, Pyro, you mean uh, you mean for uh, Gran Turismo? Yeah, it's... Venue bookings are tough? Oh, true, Emberus, yeah. Good luck with that. That's the mine. A new dawn. It's a very optimistic uh, name for a chapter. So, I mean, maybe stuff isn't going to go bad just now. That should be the end of that bothersome bedrock. Investigate it at once. What in the name of iron? What is it? Do we require more explosives? So basically, it used to be that like they were they were mining with like uh, pickaxes and stuff, and this guy kind of devised, basically, kind of invented bombs. <laughs> I wish I could, Ben Bruce. It would be so nice if I could, because <laughs> but I like. That would that would imply that like I provide all that merch, and unfortunately I don't have I don't have the merch. Like I would have to pay it out of pocket. <laughs> so it I would love to, but I'm I, I don't have the money to be able to afford all of it. But sure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why is everyone wearing those shirts? That's kind of weird. That's not what we decided. What's happening? Why is there a red panda on my wedding cake? 
<laughs> so yeah, um, so basically this guy kind of invented bombs. He's, he's working for the Norton Kingdom and he's like a, a mining specialist that they sent over. He's like a minor lord in the north. So like, it, like people don't like him very much. And so he came down here and then we, we befriended him kind of quickly. He's actually a, a very nice dude so far. Like I, I, I kind of like him a lot. Uh, and he um, he's in charge of like mining our mine, like our iron mine. Uh, he's the one that's like kind of like in charge of like the operations there. Um, and so we left to go to the, the, the sand kingdom and then he kind of stayed in the mine to kind of get the ball rolling. Hold on. Sometimes like this would be a great anime. True. That's what I mean. Like, the story has potential. You, you can, like, from everything that I've described so far, it feels like it could go in so many different places and it could be super, super nice. I just hope that it kind of sticks the landing. Like, it kind of, like, it, it, it works and it's good. Let me just I have to write a message to Van. Um... Done. Okay. No, Lord Dragan. You best come see for yourself. See, this is a plot twist that I didn't see coming, is that we would find something in the mine. Cause like I, I was expecting like some kind of backstabbing at my wedding by and for political reasons and stuff. I didn't expect like the story to take a turn with like, oh, there's something weird in the mines. What the? It couldn't be. What did they find, though? That settles the wedding program, then. We still must decide upon the wedding dress, however. Not we, Benedict. Surely the lady herself must decide. So, Benedict is like my attendant. He's basically the equivalent of... Um... Uh, Glina or uh, Gina, the, the, the girl with the, the black hair next to my future wife. Um, so, like, he's my attendant. Um, the girl in the corner with the white hair is basically, like, a kind of bodyguard to me. She's, like, a, an assassin. The guy that's to my right, like, between me and my wife, is my father, which used to be the lord. And then the other guy with the big armor and the white hair at the very far corner like right there is like the kind of like the head of the guard of the house the head of my army if you will <laughs> i appreciate that Bruce. i do what do you desire frederica did you also show some places in the world i saw one store named crazy store Wait, really? I, well. <laughs> You're right there, Bruce. Oh, I just saw your, your above message. We're both planning for winning right now. You in real life and me in the game. True. Hadn't you mentioned wanting to dress in the Roselin custom for the ceremony? Oh, what is the Roselin custom? Then you'd best ask the Roselle about that. There's a Roselin village here in the domain. 
I'm sure they'd make you a dress, if you asked. But what of the other nations in attendance? Surely Hyzant would not look kindly upon it. I do not care one bit about what these people think of you. Lord Simo, is it true that you assisted the Rizal who fled Hyzant during the war? And that you then granted them asylum here? Aye, that is how the Roselle came to live within our domain. It was a source of great tension, but in the end, Lord Simone's perseverance prevailed, and a group of Roselle found new homes here. To this day, the Holy State demands they be returned to Hyzant, citing their goddess's teachings as justification. The roots of the conflict run deep. Nevertheless, it is our duty to protect those who we have sworn to take under our wing. Should you choose to dress in the Rosellan custom, we shall stand behind you every step of the way. Yes. Is that so? Then... I see not how I could refuse such a kindness. I shall accompany you to the village. To tell the truth, I have never been there myself. It would be a good opportunity to get to know them to strengthen our bonds. As is your duty, my son. Roselle and custom it is, then. Let us depart at once to make the request. Aye, all of us. Ooh, I can't wait to see what they come up with. Whoa, they're like on the corner of every nation. Oh, that's not great. So, like, in between every time there's an event like that, you want to go back and, like, zoom out and, and check the map because sometimes there'll be, like, optional cutscenes and events going on around the map, and you don't want to miss those. There were none this time. and welcome, Lord Saranoa and Lady Frederica. My name is Jerome. I bid you welcome on behalf of the Roselle. Oh, nice. Oh, look at him. Representative of the Rosellen village, Jerome Lesme. Head of the Rosellen village in the Wolford domain, he is deeply respected by his people. And congratulations on your engagement, as well as assuming lordship of your house. You have my gratitude. We hope you will continue to lend your support to House Wolfort. You have my word. I owe your Lord Father a great debt. Though even were that not the case, you are engaged to one of our own and Lady Frederica. Few things could bring us more joy. We shall make the finest dress you have ever seen. On that subject, I have one humble request. I would like to incorporate this pendant into the design. I think it's her mother's. The pendant you are never without. Tis one of a kind, left to me by my late mother. She was one of the Rosellen refugees who fled Hyzant during the war and found her way to Esfrost. Esfrost being the Northern Kingdom. In a twist of fate, she fell in love with the former Archduke, and thus was I born. In secret, of course. After I was born, she was sent back to Hyzant. Where she met her end. Yo, he sent her back to. She was sent back to bondage, and then she 